Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. In today's video, guys, we're going to be heading over to Walmart. My wife's got to go to Walmart to get ready for Easter. Uh, and we're going to be going to Columbus, Georgia. And we're going to be just taking a look at their knives over there. Um, I know uh, Walmart carries Buck Knives and Kershaw and Victoria Knox. Uh, those are about the only name brands I care to, to look at. Because uh, you have USA Made Kershaw over there, USA Made Buck, and you got Victoria Knox, which is made in, in Switzerland. Um, the other Gerber knives and stuff like that, they're just made in China. I don't really care too much about those. So, uh, But we're going to go over there and just see what they got. And uh, we're going to go on a little knife hunt at Walmart. And when we get back, guys, I ha I'm expecting something uh, to come in today. And if it does, we're going to put it... Uh, on a knife uh i got a knife in from mr joel all the way from savannah georgia it's about three hours from here uh i thought it was another type of knife but it turned out i had a subscriber comment and mention it might be this kind of knife and i went back and looked and sure enough it was so i ordered something for it so i'm hoping it's going to fit so we're going to see if it does if it comes in i hope it does okay guys i just want to remind everybody about the auction the tunnel for towers the charity auction it will be uh, April the 7th at 7 p.m. And um, that night, that evening, Eastern Time. It'll be 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we're going to have, I'm going to be showing uh, all the stuff that's going to be on the auction this, uh, sometime this week. I'm going to get them cleaned up and we're going to uh, showcase them and I'm going to list them on the inventory for that show. And you can go in there and start pre bidding on it if you want to. Uh, it worked out real well the last time, guys. We sold like 746 bucks, and we were able to send them $655. This is it right here. The receipt that we got, the donation to Tunnels of Towers. I just want to thank everybody that participated in that auction. Again, it's going to be Sunday, April the 7th at 7 p.m. So, uh, Eastern Time. So, again, guys, thank y'all. I appreciate it. But anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today. And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, I'm currently at the Walmart in Columbus, Georgia. Let's look at the knives. I might just buy one. I don't know what kind I'm going to buy yet, but we'll look at them. I know they got Buck and Kershaw and Victoria Knox. That'd be, probably be one of the three. All depends on if they're USA made or not. Let me check them out. It's a pretty good Walmart here. Swiss Tech, China made. There's a book. Book right there. It's a book right there, too. Hmm. Check out that Kershaw right there. That green blur. That one's pretty. Olive blur. A little SD Classic right there. $21.97. There's a Kershaw leak right there. There's another Kershaw. I think that's China made right there though. I don't know that one right there is a USA made. There's a Columbia River right there. They got a case knife in there. Thing is forty-six dollars. I wonder what that case is right there. Look at that. Look right at that. It's like it's on clearance, too. Oh boy, I gotta check that one out. See that right there? I didn't know Walmart sold case. There's actually a case knife right back there. I see it in the, the, the mirror. It's right up under there. I was gonna see. I didn't know you know y'all had case knife. See it right there? It's got cases, red, white, blue. Mm -hmm. This is for, this is the box for the Red Trapper. So it's somewhere, it should be somewhere in there. This is the box for it. Red Trapper.
Yep, we can't find a knife. It was a red trapper. Well, let me see a buck light right here. I think it's a buck 110, that looks like. Can I have this box? You can. Okay. All right. What does this one run? Do you know where the box is to that? It's supposed to come with a sheath, right? The book one, two. This one's in here. Now, this oh. is uh, on clearance for $13. Uh-uh. Yes, really? sir. Really? Well, uh, how many of these you got? It is two on hand, so I just got to find the box. I want them both. That's pretty awesome, man. Ain't that cool, y'all? $13. All right, you can just stick it in the uh, sheath there, buddy. How about that? Well, let's check out some more prices while you're here. So that's what I'm saying. You never know until you scan them here, you know? That's awesome. So I'll take them both. And uh, what about that uh, green Kershaw right here? See it right here? No, it says 68, but you never know. It's 68. It's 68. Okay, I'll pass on that. Uh, there's another book over here with a flag on it. It's all the way up against this case right right here. See it right there? It's a yellow box. That's that one right there. Uh-huh. It's got a USA flag on it. I was going to see what that one was. And this one's clearance, too, for 17 That's the last one. Really? Can I see it? Mm-hmm. $17. Very cool. I'll take that one too, buddy. That was the last one. It's only one on hand okay. on that one. Do you have any more that's got the USA flags on, on them like that? Um, I don't like that little thing right there now. It's a bigger okay. one. Can you check that price? And it's 65. It's 65, so that's not on clearance, is it? Okay. Can you just check the Victoria Knox right here? The it's a red one. It's an SD Black Classic. Oh Seen yeah, that small one. one. Uh huh. So. Just check the prices on those. It's thirty-one ninety-seven. Thirty-one ninety-seven. Okay, that must be the, the the big one. That's the big one, and then the small one is twenty-one ninety-seven. Okay. All right, I'll stick with these then. Guys, three brand new Buck USA made knives. For forty-six dollars and eighty-seven cent, one ten lights were on clearance for thirteen dollars. Wow! Hey guys, if y'all want a brand new buck one ten, you go to Walmart. They're on clearance right now. You never know the ass, right? Hoorah! So what about that, guys? I fell into a little buck honey hole. <laughs> I love it, man. One of them book 110 lights is going to be in the auction next Tuesday. So uh, it was a good find. It really was. Go ahead and pick one of these up for a giveaway. Get a brass one, too. Okay, guys, here's what I picked up at Walmart today. Again, I got that 293 assist for $17 and the two 110 lights for $13 a piece. I couldn't believe that when he told me that. And $43 was $387 tax, it's $46.87. How about that? Ain't this cool? And I got a case box to boot. 
try to get this off without tearing everything up. Wish I could find out what model it was, but they ruined it. Oh, I might be able to tell. Just peeling the item. It's a 62.54. See that? It's a 62.54 stainless steel trapper. It was a 2000. That's 16. It's an old box, y'all. Very old box. It's a 2016, ain't it? April 7th, 2016. Wow. Yeah, there's no way of taking that off either. No way. But yeah. That's an old price tag, too. See that? That's an old box. It's been in there for a long time. August 28, 2016. Man, that thing's eight years old. <laughs> Ain't it? The trapper is. Wow. Ain't no telling how long that box has been in there, y'all. I didn't even know they used to sell case. But I couldn't believe that when I saw that in that uh, display case. I'm glad I got the box, though. That's cool, is it? And it's got, I think it's got the paperwork and everything. Yeah, it's got the paperwork. And all the, I love that paper. I can always use that. That's cool, though. I think I'm just going to take this off. Yeah. And put this. Yeah, they probably sold the last one and didn't give them the box of what, what happened. Okay. Okay, let's look at the Buck 110 lights, guys. Isn't that cool? $13, y'all. $13 at Walmart. That year model right there is a 2021. It's got a lanyard hole, too. I like that. And it's got that sharp edge now. That right there, I'm sure, is 420HC steel. That comes with the sheath and all. Look at there. Mm, awesome. Let's see what the other one is. What your model the other one is. There's a 2020. Cool, ain't it? Mm. Awesome. Razor sharp, guys. Got the forever warranty. Famous forever warranty right there. Ain't that awesome? This what I really love about Buck, and I didn't know this. For God loved the world so much, he gave his only son, so that anyone who believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Hoorah. Ain't that awesome, guys? Awesome. I want to wish everybody a happy Easter, too. Very cool, ain't it? Awesome. Now this one here is the assist, guys. And this also has the paperwork. I gave 17 for this. This thing has a drop point blade. It's also stone washed, as you can see. It's pretty, ain't it? It's 420HC steel. The handles are nylon. Pocket clip. Liner lock. And it's got that little thumbnail there too, or thumb pull. And flick it open like with your thumb. Very cool. It's a good knife, y'all. 
Very good knife. Seventeen dollars. Hoorah! But guys, how about this now? Go to Walmart. All USA made knives for forty-six bucks. Three of them. And guys, these are thirty-seven ninety-nine on Buck.com. Got them for thirteen bucks. Awesome, man. Awesome. Okay, guys. Here is the item I ordered. It did come in today. So we're gonna be opening this up with my little case backpacker. She's sharp as a razor now. Look at there, guys. The exchanger. See, this is a 90, and this is a clip blade. And here is the knife that Joel sent in from Savannah. It's right here, guys. Look at that. And this here is a blade. It comes out, see? Ain't that cool? But you see how worn... This is, they really abused that blade. Man, they abused it. But what I did, I ordered, and see this year is a uh, 86, see there? Lightning bolt S's, see there? And four dots, that's an 86. It's a drop point blade. Okay, it went down like this, but it was a full blade, see? They done whittled that down big time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean this up, Okay, first, guys, we're going to take it over there in that little three-inch bench grinder with that fiber wheel. And we're going to hit this whole thing real good. It's going to look a lot better when I get done. Then we got to clean the inside of it out and oil it down real good. But this is going to look good, guys. This is a bone. Maybe look like stag. But this is a bone handle exchanger. I'm going to be looking for me some more blades here. I... I luckily I found this on eBay. I paid 40 bucks for it. It's a 90, which is an 86. But uh it looks good. Ain't nothing wrong with that blade at all. And this one, man, it's just see again, that's a drop point blade. And that's a clip blade. Which I rather have the clip blade. It's gonna look good when we get done with it. Okay, we're gonna hit it with some Neville door. Get a new one for this one. Square a little. Hey guys, here it is. Ain't it beautiful? Look at that bone. Mm mm mm. Look at, look at that. Man. It's been used now. There. Press to release. How about that? Well, here's what we've been waiting for, guys. 
It should fit. Look at there. Wow. Ain't that beautiful now? Huh? Ain't that beautiful? Look at that, guys. I'm gonna find me a sheath for it now. It needs to be old, I think. Beautiful, ain't it? Check that out. Again, this is an 86. And I used a 90 blade. That's the only one I could find by itself. This knife is usable again, guys. Beautiful, ain't it? Ain't that bone beautiful? Love that color. Brass pins, brass bolsters. This ain't hurt a bit, man. The only thing that they did was whittle that down real bad. Joel, I appreciate you sending this in from Savannah, Georgia. Thank you, Joel. Look at that. Awesome, ain't it? It's heavy, too. It's a heavy knife. awesome okay guys i just hope y'all enjoyed the video today i just can't believe that i went to walmart and found some uh clearance knives some usa made knives and a case box that is so awesome i just can't believe that and i went knife hunting at walmart you know what i mean and i found them some great deals uh so if I was y'all, if y'all were looking for a buck 110 light, I'd go out to your local Walmart to see if they have some and then just tell them to check the prices. Uh, you never know. You never know till you check. And uh, meanwhile, guys, also, how about this little jewel here now? Didn't that clean up good? Ain't that beautiful, guys? Check out that bone right there. Ooh, boy. Joel, thank you again, buddy, for sending this in from Savannah, Georgia. And I bought this blade off of eBay. I gave $40 for it. He's wanting 55. I offered him 35 and he then he counted it 45 and then I offered him 40 and he took, took it. So there it is right there. These blades, if you buy them, they're well over about 200 bucks, 150 bucks, some sets. The whole, with the knife sheath and everything, it's about 200 bucks. Uh, you can find them for a hundred and something bucks, but but I'm telling you guys, these knives are expensive. They really are. And I'm gonna try to complete the set. I'm, I'm, it might be a piecemeal. I'm gonna buy one blade at a time, a sheath. I'm gonna try to find a sheath for it, but I see exchanger. And uh, I, th I think it come with a, a fillet and a saw, a drop point and a clip. So I'm needing a drop point saw and uh, a fillet, I think it is. I'm not sure. I have to look in the sheath. So I'm gonna be be searching for that along when I'm looking for my, my, my other case knives here. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today. I just hope y'all enjoyed the video and I just wanna say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys, I'll be like a good night.